Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and this is the fourth and last video in my mini series covering or demonstrating Brothers latest label printer aimed at the crafter. It's called the P-Touch Embellish um, printer. You could pick it up at Michael's. Now, though this is the last video, I will offer many videos focusing on specific functions and features. So I'm going to pick right back up where I left off. I created this strip of different words. On this side, I, I did not add my spaces when I chain printed. On this side, I made a boo-boo, but I learned that there is possibly two ways to chain. Okay, print. so let's get started. Turn the unit on and it always defaults back to what you were working on last. So I don't want those characters. So let's delete that. You could either hit the backspace and I'll do that this time. I covered other ways in my other videos. Okay, so now we need to make sure that we have selected the chain feature. The way you do that is to press menu and you need to select margin. You see margin on the screen, hit OK. And my machine is already set to chain print, but I'm gonna hit OK just to be sure. And you saw that it accepted that command. Now we can choose a word to enter. Okay, I want capital letters. One way of doing that is by holding down the shift button, but you could also just press caps. And let's type in play. Okay, so for some reason I could see that it did not capitalize. Let me go back and erase that and hit caps again. Okay, there it goes. I didn't press down hard enough because I didn't want what you just saw to happen. Okay, so type in play. And then we are going to, let's change the font. Select font and hit OK and choose, use your arrows to choose your font. And let's try Sophia, hit OK. It accepted that. And let's change our size too. I want a large print. Hit font again and use your arrows, select size, hit OK. And then now it's already set to large, but I wanna hit OK to accept that. And um, let's preview this. That's how it's going to look. Well, let's go ahead and print. I want one copy. You could hit print again or hit okay. And it's printing out. Okay, what happened there? Hmm, well, it's doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> On the screen, it states feed OK. It's not going to complete that print because it's going to chain print. Chain printing allows you to save ribbon. Do not hit OK, hit escape. All right, now we can type in our other phrases. So I have play. How about the word create? But I do wanna put a space after play. So let me back up and put a space. If you want, you could put a couple spaces. It's all up to you. Um, so let's type in create space. Let's type in color. Let's type in journal. And let's see how this looks. Alrighty, use your arrow right key if you want to see your entire label. You can hold it down. Okay, so that is how it's gonna look when it prints. Let's go ahead and print now. One copy, print again, and now my entire label will print out. I forget the maximum length you can print out, but you can print out a long strip. Okay, so it's asking feed okay. 
no, I don't want to continue to chain print. So I'm going to select OK and the rest of my label will come out. OK, now there's a couple things I can do right now. I can automatically feed the ribbon to come out a little bit more, but I am hoping that this unit jams up. I know that sounds crazy, but I need to show you something. <laughs> and so I am going to just cut it off and hope that it jams up. So this is how my label looks. You could see over here, my first word was play, and then I had an enter, and then all of my other words, they printed within the larger frame. What you would then do is use your scissors and you could cut apart your different words. So chain printing, it eliminates all that waste that you see between your phrases when you don't chain print. Okay, so I want this machine to jam up. I'm going to print it again just to see if it will jam up. Nope, it didn't. Darn it. Okay, so it's going to print the same thing. You know what? Let me cut it. Though I know it didn't print out everything, perhaps it will jam up when I print it again. Let me escape out of that and print again and see. Darn it. No, I want it to jam up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is the generic tape I got from Amazon. I will link this in my description box. This time, I'm going to press OK to feed, and it's all coming out. Darn it, I wanted to show you guys something because I think I know why my um, cartridge jammed up on me. Okay, so I'm going back to this cartridge. I showed this in a previous video. It reverse printed on me and I don't know why, but I'm going to see if I could fix this. I had a cartridge that jammed up on me and it was because I believe you need to make sure that your tape goes through this part right here. So I'm going to put that in there and let's see if this will resolve my problem and fix this cartridge. Let's see if I fixed my cartridge. I'm going to hit print and let's see what happens. Okay, nope, it's jamming up. But I'm going to open it up and see what's going on. Perhaps I still didn't do something right. Ooh, yeah. Now this was that cartridge I just showed. Oh, I don't know why. That didn't fix it. Okay. Very not proof. Let's print it one more time before I call it a day. Okay, it didn't jam up, <laughs> but it's still reverse printing. Let me automatic feed my ribbon. Okay, so it didn't jam up that time. It's still printing on the wrong side. Okay, but take a look at this. This is really cool. When you peel back the film, you may have to cut it back. Look at that white on, oh, let's just tear it. Look at that white and black. I like that. So if you happen to have this problem, you guys, you could still use your cartridge. Okay, so I'm really liking <laughs> this cartridge. This is how it was supposed to print. And once again, this is how it printed defectively, but it still has the sticky on it. You could peel it back. So I am really, I'm really liking that. I don't know if there's any cartridges available with white on black like this. Okay, so now I'm going to quote unquote chain print without using the chain print function. Alrighty, let's type in a word. I want caps. Let's spell out Jesus. And okay, that didn't capitalize. That's okay. And let's spell out Lord, but I'm going to press caps to make sure I have caps. Okay, and let's add a couple spaces there. 
No, one space is good. Um, let's spell out king of kings. Okay, and a space. And um, let's see, one more, real quick. Um, um, how about Prince? P R I N C E. Okay, let's go ahead and print this out. And I'm printing on the fabulous gold washi. This is one of the specialty ribbons that you could pick up at Michael's. Okay, so take a look at that. Okay, so this, this is really cool because you can chain print without chain printing. Just use your scissors and cut out your different words. Of course, if you wanted more spaces between your words, you would add more spaces. Now, in my last video, I showed you how you can save, how you can minimize the waste of your end. All right, so let me provide an overview of the different labels I made in this four video series. You could see the different colors of ribbon that I have. I will link these in my description box. These are a generic brand. I got them for a fabulous price. And down here though, you see the specialty ribbons. You see the gold on white satin, the gold on pink satin, and then once again, the washi type gold. Now that was supposed to read king of kings, not kink of kings. One of the great benefits of having a label printer and having these beautiful different ribbons and tapes, well, you can create any expression you like and personalize and decorate your journals, your planners. So I am going to show you just how easy it is. And you know what? I have a tip too on how you can use your wasted ribbon and not waste it. Okay, so the washi type ribbon has the sticky on it. The satin ribbon don't. This is like real satin. At least it feels like it. To remove your liner, it comes in two strips. You simply just peel, peel it back. And I want to, let's add it way up here. Oh, it's curling up on me. Now the strength of this adhesive it's stronger than washi. So you'll get a nice hold. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. So you can definitely use your satin ribbon. You just need to add your own sticky. I added double stick tape and I'm gonna put this one down here. God is good. I am loving it. Ah, I love this machine. Oh, guys, outside of slight art variations, these two models, they're identical. You can use your satin ribbons in your older model. This is a D210. Now remember, I am going to provide a mini, mini series focusing on individual specific functions and features. So be sure to check those videos out because it's still a whole lot left you can do. We didn't play around with the pattern, the ribbon, and a whole lot of other functions. Again, I have my other videos in this series linked in the description box along with links for this fabulous standard tape you could pick up on Amazon. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.